Chris and Ange off to a little spare fishing adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye, Bowser. Got the weather for it. Walking to a little bay. It's very busy, but hopefully walking away from the four drive is the key. We shall see. We have no idea what we're doing, but... We'll give it a go. <laughs> so I just came back for a little spare fishing mission. So just to give a bit of context, this is the beach at the moment, parked like crazy. We went just behind that rock over there. There's like a nice little bay where it was not very busy. It was just like a few fishermen. Chris went spare fishing and got a squid for the first time. First squid. No idea what I'm doing. So just I'd look at a quick uh, YouTube tutorial for the rescue. So please, no judgment in here. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm only going to remove the fins, but... Oh yeah, here we go. Have a look. Here we go. Here we go. So well, step number go. one, remove right. the tentacles. One fin gone. Boom. So while Chrissy Boy is preparing the squid, me uh, thinking of making, because we only have one squid, so that will be kind of like a light lunch. I'm gonna use some leftovers from the fridge. I've got a mango, a red onion, some avocado, some rocket, some lemon. I don't know if I said that already. That's gonna be squid salad. How does that sound? It sounds great. Nice and fresh. Thank you, Mr. or Mrs. Squid. So how did you go catching him? Uh, it was good. So really, really, really clear out, but not many fish at all. Just, just not much going on. But early in the hunt, this guy came across the sandy bottom. It's a bit weedy, but came across mostly on sand and didn't seem to spook when he saw me. So I dove down and shot him right in the head, which unfortunately didn't kill him straight away. So he inked pretty hard. <laughs> So I swam down, grabbed him, and then strangled him around the neck, uh, which made his body turn completely white. So then you know that it's dead. Put him out of his misery nice and fast. Nice. Fresh from the sea within 10 minutes yeah. to the plate. And we've got a fresh squid ring. So that's Chrissy Boy's job's done. Now, inch to take over. It's like a relay. <laughs> Teamwork. And we've got the final result. Looks so good. Small, but good. <laughs> Appetizer for Chrissy Boy. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. It's 6 p.m. so it's dinner time. This afternoon has been a bit like a slow afternoon. It's very much overcast right now and this is where I think I think like a little camper is really nice because you can cozy up inside. You don't have to be in the elements. Do you agree? I agree. This is what we couldn't do in the Jeep. Yeah. Which sometimes we're like, oh it'd just be so nice to just chill. Chill. Look inside. at that. Look at him. Chilling on the lounge. Chilling like a villain. No, it's nice. It'll be really nice once we get these lights up here as well. Yeah. Just listen to the sound of the ocean. We both had showers, so we feel good. Yeah. We've got the computer charging, non-stop <laughs> charging, which is awesome. Good life. Yeah, I'm starting to settle into this. Yeah. So tonight for dinner, I'm gonna just reheat the chicken that I made last night for dinner for Chris for for him, and I'll make some tofu stir fry noodles for me and then we'll just chill and watch the witcher new season 
Oh, season two. Dun, 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 dun. The Witcher. You should read the books. The Polish books. They're so good. In the Gulf of Guayaquil. And there are two main roads to get there, but I'm not taking either of them. I'm going to cut straight across here. Or I think from here down. Good morning. So. It is really cloudy today, unfortunately, so we woke up this morning at coffee in our beautiful lounge. We watch Itchy Boots on YouTube, which we really like. She's a really cool motorcycle uh, biker that kind of like travel around the world. She's currently in uh, South America, which is like a big bucket list for us. So it's really nice to wake up and watch her adventures and get some inspiration for the future. Now we're having breakfast. We are monitoring, obviously, our Enerdrive system because today we may not get much solar. So at the moment, we are 74% battery uh, currently discharging. So we may not get any solar at all today. We will see. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit, a little bit later when it gets better weather. And as well, like it may not seem like it, but we are doing a little bit of work in good comfy condition. We've been brainstorming this morning like a little list of like things to do once we get back to the shed that we want to tackle straight away, like little things we need to buy, just so that we can hit the road full time again in January. We got this. We got this. Yes. So we'll have Bricky and uh, we're not too sure you what we're going to do today because no. it's overcast, it's a big surprise. We might do a bit of off-roading either today or tomorrow and we'll take you along. How incredible is it to be only a few steps away from the beach and a house. Bowser Beach. How amazing. The weather was so bad and now so beautiful. So Chris is getting ready to go. Spearing! <laughs>
<laughs> Look at you. It's so hard to shoot these things. But I got a two and one on this, on these King George Whiting. All right. So we've got three King George. Nice job. Which tastes good, but they're small. <laughs> oh. Better Man. than Veggie Burger? Yes. They were testing my aim, those KGWs. Really testing my aim. How was it? It was all right. Pretty good. Yeah, my reel got a bit jammed up at one point, which is a shame, but yeah, pretty good. King George tastes nice, so we'll cook those up. They're a nice fish, King George. <laughs> Cooking an induction outside for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Proper glamping. <laughs> this will be interesting. Don't judge us. <laughs> yeah, it's a fire ban, okay? Yeah, fire ban, and we want to test the induction to its maximum capabilities. And as well, we didn't refill our gas bottle. So here it is. This is what it is. So we've got the fish here. We'll have some coconut, lemongrass, chili rice. And I made as well a little salad to go on the side. So first impression of cooking outdoors with induction. I'm actually really impressed. It cooked so far. way faster than gas. <laughs> Had it at 120 degrees. Yeah, it's just cooked it right through really quickly and hasn't burnt any of it. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah, that was the first time that we use our Clipsol outlet mm -hmm. uh, with that cable over there so yeah that worked very well which was cool to see cable courtesy of socks he gave us that which yeah really nice of him he gave us a bunch of stuff actually which is really really nice so that's definitely a win for induction you probably can't tell but there's as well a little breeze coming out from the ocean and i definitely don't miss the days where you have to put a plate on top of the food on the side of the cooker you have to hide for like the wind to come and it just takes so long when it's windy to cook so right now the sun is shining we're gonna have dinner outside cook within five minutes and so good free and free you don't have to pay for the gas yay thank you sunshine cheers thank you for the fish mm. Thank you, fish. All right. Bon appétit. Yum. This is Chris new tie. Here, here, here. It's brilliant. Yeah. You killed him. Ha. Uh. Sorry, <laughs> We're about eight mozzies with the electric racket of death. <laughs> Come here. Really. So this is a dev grid that we will definitely think of having is obviously a fly slash mozzie net on the door. We just need to figure out where exactly to put it. Because as we were having dinner, we got some visitors. Chris got that under control. All right, so we woke up to another pretty cloudy morning. We cozied up inside, it was raining. We looked at trail recon videos, so it was a nice little relaxing morning. And now we have to do some forward driving in Basel. Perfect weather for it. Yeah, so the aim is to go on the other side and get to that rock over there. Do it.
smashed it. That was awesome. You got bowed on the rock. That was awesome. Pressure right there. How many bars again? I think that one's seven and a half bar. Main <laughs> tank's 18, but I think that would blow my eardrums out of Oh my so. god. That's pretty handy. Two tires at once. Yeah, the interplate's great. Recovering people. Yeah. So this is what happens when Chris cooks. 